Okay, let's talk berserk. Let me move in. Let me move in a little closer. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's talk berserk. Uh, we get three episodes. Zero, one, two. Zero is a flashback, which is them recapping what happened in the first season of 2016's Berserk and 2017's Berserk. Okay. Then we get the transition from that one to the Fury Village and Griffin. And that's in episode one. Episode zero was just a recap. So episode one of 2017, it starts off with Griffith and Zod flying through the sky, kids in a force. They emphasize the kids in a force looking at fairies like, oh, they're scary. And it was essentially the fairies being more or less in the force and they're scared. So we get Griffin talking to Rickett. The little blonde boy, I think it's Rickett. So we get him talking, I'm going to call him Richard. And Richard and Griffin are talking. Guts rushes out the door to find Griffith and Rickett talking. While Erica and Casca are playing in the bottom half, I'll say living room. Bottom half of the living room talking. And Guts is just thinking there. So he leaves out. He goes to the battlefield where the swords and... Mumbo Jumbo R, and we get Guts having slight dialogue with Griffin, and then Zod appears, where we get an epic battle. The graining was choppy, but it had beautiful affirmations. The way Griffin appeared was godly, like, he had that god key, that god aura, it was Dragon Ball Z. Clean, white and silver with gold, all decked out, doing his finest, and we get... <coughs> We get, um, right, it's cold. We get in Griffith in his new form body. And Zod, like I said earlier, Zod and Guts are fighting. Rickett, or Richard, as I like to call him, is watching, like, oh my god, like, oh, this is like the epic fight. Guts is really good with one hand. We get Guts' wound on the back of his neck, the giant Joe Star symbol. Get down the back of his neck, pussing out blood, just nasty, just pussing out, just spraying out heavy loads. And <coughs> we get Zod going one on one. Zod pulls a treat trick and pulls a sword out the ground. And Richard or Rickett, if you ever want to call him, uh, watches as he fights. Guts kicks up a blade from the ground and stabs him in his chest, where. It was just pretty awesome. And, and then he transforms into Baphomet God, Baphomet Zod. And Baphomet Zod takes down Guts. And they have a cave rain meteorites. And Casca, now that she's arrived there, has uh, seen Griffith and Guts. It's PTSD, post traumatic stress disorder, and she wants to cry and run, but she stays because Griffith has protected her from the rocks falling and crushing her. In part three, we get Lady Furness, Fernesca, whatever. I'm going to call her Fine. Man, what's her name? For, for easy, for an easy, something close to that. So, Lady for an easy, uh, we get her backstory. She's always been fucked up in the head. I'm gonna put that out there. She's always been mentally unsound to say. She's done things that are quite erratic and not very sociable. Like, she's always had thing for pain. Like, when we see in the first season how she's acting with the whippings, her brother's, not her brother, her left-hand man, right-hand man, whatever you want to call him, uh, Scorpios? Damn, I don't know his name. 
Scorpion, I was called Scorpion. Scorpion uh, has been taking abuse from her for years. She had, she suffers from daddy issues and a mental break in her head. Like she's a slight arsonist to boot. She burnt the money because her dad was like, "I'll buy you another one. I'll buy you seven times more." And like she's always been messed up in the head. When they go to parties, she always wants to dance with her bodyguard, which is Scorpion or Scorpizzi. And it's fitting for her to join the Holy Link Art, the Holy Night Arts, like. Like, you just see why. So, I think it's, like, unofficial because it says two, but it's, I don't know. But we got three episodes. (coughs) (coughs) We got three episodes. And it all corresponds. And you also get the dog, dog guts. Putting the seed in his head, like you should kill Katska, uh, kill her. She doesn't belong. Uh, she's wasting your time and such and so forth. And Guts doesn't want to, but we get him in daylight just going at her. And we also get um, somebody forcing herself on Katska, two bandits. Like, oh, we'll have food, water, and such and such. And. They try to take advantage of her, and she slaughters them both. So she has retained the cognizance of battle to the certain point where she can hold her own if need be. If a dire need be, she can hold her own. And Guts is losing himself, and that's pretty much it. So back at it again next week. Well, a couple more reviews. I got a couple more reviews coming up this weekend. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh... Help a brother out. Uh, check out my channel. Check out my other videos. I just got a T Grizzly uh, mixtape review up. So check that out. Like, comment, and subscribe.